What's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel. We're going to do a quick intro, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the videos. And let's get right into it. The Ravens have signed Odell Beckham Jr. to a one-year deal worth up to $18 million. Okay. Wow. That's, that's the first initial reaction. Wow, wow, wow. Now, obviously, it always came down to whether it's going to be the Jets or the Ravens to sign Odell Beckham. So this sign has to take place kind of within two parts, all right? There's the Odell Beckham coming to the Ravens part. Then, obviously, there's the Lamar Jackson part, okay? But first, let's talk about Odell Beckham, all right? 30 years old, coming off a knee injury, um, didn't play all the last season. I've been saying for a while that Odell Beckham fits all the criteria for the kind of receiver that the Ravens signed. Now, the, now the price point is higher than the Ravens have been usually willing to go. But, guy 30 years old, you know, third-plus contract, uh, come, you know, he wants to prove that he still got it. All of those things are all things that Ravens look for in free agent wide receivers, okay? And Odell Beckham fit them all to a T. So, um, I am surprised that he's here, but I'm not surprised he's kind of, he's the kind of guy that the Ravens targeted, if that makes sense, okay? Now, as far as the contract goes, okay, we're talking about uh, he's going to make at least $15 million, all right? So, we're talking about a $1.1 million base salary, so super low cap hit on that on that end, but a $13 million signing bonus, all right? So, the Ravens put pretty much all the money on the signing bonus. Um, yeah, and Odell Beckham Jr. is a Baltimore Raven. As I'm recording this video, the Ravens Twitter account had just put out the video, so I'm probably going to have that screenshot up here. Um, so, yeah, man, so this is a big, big-time deal. This is a big move, right? Um, this is... I mean, in terms of statue of player, this is this is one of the biggest moves Ravens have ever made on offense. And um, I know that's not like a, like, like a big statement, but if you really think about the free agent signings that the Ravens have made on the offensive side of the football, Odell Beckham Jr. is one of the biggest names the Ravens have ever bought to Baltimore. Now, um, it's I, I'm really am shocked. I, I really am. I know I don't. I'm kind of lost for words a little bit because um, today, Sunday, he was supposed to be in New York doing the physical. With the New York Jets. So to me, I hear that. I hear physical, you know, with the team. I'm hearing that he's gonna get the deal lined up. You know, that, that's pretty much the last step. The Jets are supposed to be talking to him about how him and Aaron Rodgers is going to fit together in the offense, what's his role gonna be, all that, all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, all right, well, Odell Beckham's gonna be another almost Raven. You know, the Ravens lost out on Odell, you know. Um, I thought it was gonna be a case where Odell was using the Ravens to get a higher price point for the New York Jets, because we've seen plenty of guys do that. Say, hey, look, the Ravens are interested in me. If you don't give me that contract, I'm going to go over there. Uh, so I'm surprised all around. I mean, this really seemed like the Jets were in the in the lead for, I would say, like 80% of the race. And the Ravens kind of, maybe maybe that's just the perception, but since the Ravens kind of swept in last minute and, and got Odell Beckham here in Baltimore, man. Um, this is a big deal. I'm sorry. I know I keep saying that, but this is really a big deal, okay? Um, now, the money is a lot. Right, he has a potential to make up eighteen million dollars. Uh, to me, that just means investment. Right, it's a one-year deal. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. If it does work out, you could potentially be signed to another year, another deal that maybe like maybe two years because he is going to be thirty-one by the time this deal ends. So, um, now as far as the Ravens go, to me, this doesn't change the plans on draft night. If the best player on the board is still a wide receiver, you take a wide receiver, and this is why. Okay, people are going to say, well, you. You know, you, you got Al Glory, you got Odell, you got Rashad Bateman coming back, still got Devin DuVernay. Um, why I'll go overboard at wide receiver in the draft? Because injuries happen. That's why. Rashad Bateman, I love him. I think he can play. I think he's a really good receiver. He's injured a lot. All right. Um, Odell Beckham, like we just mentioned, is coming off an injury. So I would still draft a first round wide receiver. So if my wide receiver core, I, I put this in the comments of videos before, can be Bateman, Odell, first round wide receiver, whether that's Zay Flowers, Jordan Addison. I don't think it's Jack Smith and Jacob is going to drop that far, but somebody like that. All right. Um, and then you got Aguilar and, and, and Bateman. They could be four or five and they can work that out. Right. That is a real investment in the receiving core right there. And that's a team that, hey, look, man. The NFL is a passing league now. It's an arms race to get these weapons on the outside and all over the field. The Ravens have finally entered their name into that race. This is a good thing. This is a really good thing, okay? Uh, now, the Lamar Jackson side of it, all right? 
putting this much investment, putting this much money into a wide receiver who wants the football, right? A wide receiver that's going to be demanding the ball. Todd Munkin talked about Odell Beckham saying, hey, look, I have no problem with my wide receiver wanting the football. You know, he's a competitive guy, right? Because that was a knock on Odell Beckham in Cleveland. Oh, he was selfish. He was complaining about getting the ball or whatever. I don't mind that. But the point being is, I don't think you make this move and Tyler Huntley's the quarterback, all right? No offense to Tyler Huntley, okay? So I feel pretty good. Maybe this is a step in the right direction, right direction, excuse me, for a Lamar Jackson contract or for Lamar Jackson to come back and play this season on some kind of deal, all right? Just because, like I said, this is a large investment in the wide receiver position uh, for that kind of price. This Odell's on a one-year deal. This, yes, he's going to make $15 million regardless, right? Of course. That's, that's, that's a lot of money. That's good money. But he's going to want to cash in on another deal. So he's not going to want to play for a team with an uncertain quarterback situation, uh, which is where he's at right now in Baltimore. So he has to know something or the Ravens gave him some kind of assurance that he's going to get his numbers. He's going to hit his stats so he can get his next contract. Right. Uh, because if I'm Odell, I'm not signing here without that. Now, obviously, the Jets are kind of in the same boat. They don't have Aaron Rodgers as of right now. So, you know, the two places that he was most likely to land are very uh, uncertain at the QB position. It is what it is. Now, I've also said, Harris might say that, that this could mean that the Ravens have a trade partner up for the, the top of the first round. And, you know, that means they're going to draft a young rookie QB. Um, I mean, that, that could be the case as well. But to me, it I can't see Odell putting his hands, putting his career in the hands of a rookie quarterback. Um now, listen, this is all speculation. I could be very, very wrong. It could mean nothing. But it just seems to me like this is a move that, hey, look, Lamar Jackson, man, we're getting you weapons. We're getting you talent here. We got a new offensive coordinator. You're not going to be um, – you're not going to have to be teams the, the team's number one running back and number one quarterback. You could just play quarterback, throw the football, let the guys uh, run, do everything like that. So, Because Lamar Jackson has said it plenty of times in the past, man. I just want to throw the football to my guys and let them run after the catch, all right? He said that plenty of times. Now the Ravens have guys that can do that, all right? Um, Odell Beckham's a threat after the catch. So is Rashad Bateman. Um, if they get a first-round wide receiver, he could be that kind of guy too. And then for me, I like it because it frees up Duvernay just to kind of be uh, a gadget guy, uh, come in every now and then, and when he doesn't have to be the main focus of the play, it kind of frees up his role a little bit. So, uh, with the Ravens signing Odell Beckham Jr., this is a big, big move, right? Um, I think it's big in terms of Odell Beckham coming to Baltimore, and I think it's, it's big in terms of Lamar Jackson staying in Baltimore. Um, it really can't be overstated, honestly. Um, when I say this, I, I really mean it. Odell Beckham is one of the biggest free agent signings offensively in the Ravens' history. Like, this is a big, big, meal, big, big, big deal. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting my words twisted up because I'm excited about this deal. Um... This is this this is real, man. This is real. The Ravens have um, always been one of the teams where their wide receiver core was kind of near the bottom. This kind of move, if Odell Beckham is right, it springs them back up, man. It springs them to a really solid, really good receiving core. And uh, if I'm Lamar Jackson, I'm looking at this, excited to play with these guys. Let's get the contract figured out so we can get this happening and get out there on the football field and win some games, man. Um, so let me know what you guys think of the signing. Give me a grade in the comments, you know, A, B, C, D, E, whatever. You know what I mean? Tell me what you think about the Odell Beckham signing. Uh, I'm giving it an A, man. This is a great signing for the Ravens. Uh, the money is the money. You got to pay money to get uh, big name wide receivers. And it's a one year deal. If it doesn't work out, hey, it is what it is. All right. So uh, I'm excited about it. Let me know what you think about the move in the comments. And it's, uh, it's Gabriel. This is another fan TV. I'm out.